everybody, welcome back to Our Magica episode 13 with me, Sid, and we're into our second episode with the new Mana and Artifice mod instead of Ars Magica. Um, and I do realise that potentially we might be better calling this an, uh, Mana and Artifice now rather than Ars Magica, but um, yeah, nah, that's not what I want to do. Uh, can I... Uh, Anyway, I, I, between episodes, did a little bit of digging, and uh, we f came down here to basically try and find some diamondes. We found no diamondes. I have worn out an iron pick. I've done a little bit of digging. Um, there's really not a huge amount down here, but we did get a little bit of stuff. We got some uh, redstone and a whole load of rocks and we found that nice little amethyst geode so that was uh, a good little thing and this episode I need to push my magic out magic boat so our manner and artifice is, is very different in many respects to Ars Magica um, Probably, in some respects, you may be best if you try to think of it. Uh, by the way, this if you head off this way, either way, anywhere around here, there's badness all over. So, uh, yeah. Hence why I went straight down and hopefully we're going to live up here. That's fine. I have got a boat. I have been out and explored a little bit. And I have got way more stuff now then I can probably store <coughs> plus I've still got a bit of a cold but you know nothing new there right um, so we can chop you away that can that and that can go might as well chuck that in there as well along with that bit of redstone and world is good and happy except for that one make me one of them let's just get one of those going again uh, it's not like I haven't got plenty of iron or rather I should have plenty of iron have I got plenty of iron I thought I had plenty of iron maybe I don't have plenty of iron maybe I am misremembering things however I have got a couple of these charm bases when I went out hunting for stuff because in my inventory there is a whole load more magic up oh, keep you there Magic stuff. Yeah. And it's actually more than I can reasonably store, so I should probably make myself another chesticle. Unless. Oh, I've got another chesticle there as well. And I've got some barrels as well, so, you know. Uh. And then figure out where I'm going to put said chesticle. There and there. And then we'll dump all of this off. We will get around to sorting all of this eventually. But this is all temporary living arrangements anyway. And it's still daytime. So I am waiting patiently for the, um, the rain to bagger off and leave me alone. Anyway. Let's go back to... Oh, and I found that urn, which I thought I'd stick there. I may actually go and stick my valuables in there, so things like my processed metals or things. I've got a hell of a lot of copper as well. Um, so, yeah, stuff, basically. Lots and lots of stuff. Right, let us have a look at this. So, how to progress. The Oculus is a block that will help guide you through this mod along with this book. It will show you what you need to do in order to unlock new things within the mod as well as what you currently have unlocked. To see what you need to do in order to progress, click the Progress tab. Um, consider the Oculus a list of what you need to do in order to progress and this book's instructions on how. This is all well and good, but you see, 
what we actually need is vitium and vitium dust and there's the vitium ore but that's the only stuff we've heard about transmuted silver on the other hand requires me to use a tier one transmute cantrip on either a block of copper or i think we can do it i'm not sure whether we can do it on a thing but we can definitely do it on a block of copper hence why i wanted to get some copper so let's start off with one two three four five six seven eight nine just do do the basics for now i've got you that can go in there you can have that for the balance of it maybe <laughs> we'll see what we get i need nine of these to make a block anyway but we need to transmute it so i think we're going to need a wand and there is is it a wand Maybe it's not a, oh yeah, you've got improvised mana weavers, vitium or chimerite. So an improvised is basically a torch on a thing. Uh, there is the vitium, which requires vitium ingots, which is vitium coated iron, which we need to do some stuff there. Uh, I'll probably just go with the basic and then you've got the chimerite, which requires even more. So let us get that done. Let us make you into a nice shiny block and let's put you down on the floor and then if I take one of those and one of those, in theory we should get the manky mana weavers thing. Now, new recipes unlocked, blah blah blah, but what we need is mana weaving. What is mana weaving? Mana weaving is a process of infusing your own magic into your creations. To do it, first craft a mana weaver's wand. The vitium ones have limited uses and eventually break. However, you can make them later. Next, hold the wand in your hand and begin using it. Hold the right and then draw the shape in the air. Stop when you are done. Concentrated, concentration required will consume your mana quickly. Do not let this rush you, however, lest you make mistakes. Some majors claim to have heard chimes when using mana weaves and ones not confirmed. Stuff. There are also those who are unwilling or unable to draw the shapes in the air. To that end, mana weave projector was developed. Simply place it on the ground and it will draw in your mana or that of others to power itself when activated. Yeah, there is uh, also... I believe you can no I need to check the key there is a contra, there is a key bind for this which allows you to just bring those up and unless it has been changed since I did my test thing mana and artifice spellbook quick select Container GUI open modifier left control. Um, you lack knowledge to perform this pattern. Now, what we need to know is how do I make silver? <laughs> um, basics, early game resources, silver. It uses what? A triangle is that what you're trying to tell me requires tier one transmute cantrip that was not well we definitely managed to draw a triangle Okay, right, how do I do silver then? Because clearly, that is not getting me there. Hmm. Mana weaving, blah, blah, blah. Mana weaving altar. You to do, let's have a look at you. You are not going to help me. Mana weaving pool of enchanted water. No, that's the, uh, that. Arcane stone, arcane sandstone. So we definitely need. Uh, this is getting annoying now because that 
should be cantrips. Cantrips as well, you know, the candy to sit to view cantrip GUI, simply hold any manual weaver wand and press the GUI key. Default is control and right click. Control click. Ah, transmute. So we're going to do that. No. How do you commit to it though? This is confusing me. Bear with me a second, I'll be back in a moment. All right, I think I've got it. I think I need to go and do a square, followed by a square. I'm sure there is supposed to be, and then I point at that. You need to continue to hold. Oh, I broke my wand, okay. Uh, let's make another one while my, while my mana regenerates. Um, we will get a proper one. I just want to get this underway. Uh, right, let's try that again. Bang! Silver. Right, why did I need to go through all of this? Well, to make the Oculus, and if I turn you off, we can do it this way. I need to make an ornate table. An ornate table requires some carpet, some wood, and some silver. Uh, now, I've got no idea whether I've got half of what I need to do. This carpet, I think, is going to be my stumbling block. Uh, and iron is also now going to be my stumbling block, so I haven't got anything to make shears. Let's fix that up quickly. Um, off we go. Do, do, do. I only need the two to make my shears, and then we can go and find some sheeps and uh, get some carpet together. Right, ships. Let's go find the ships. Uh, do I think there are any? I mean, that is not a sheep. As pink as it is, it could only be a piggy. Um, but the big question is, can I see any sheeps from up here? Or should I go? I think I'm going to be better off over on that little plain area out there. So... We'll go find some ships. We'll uh, we'll get the. Uh... Oh, I know, I know where I can get some wool. I don't even need the sheeps. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Come on. I have passed my test, honest. Some thoughtful person left a tent full of it up there, although. There are also plenty of sheeps, so maybe I could... Is that tent made out of wool? It looks to me like it is made out of wool. It would be wrong not to, therefore, cannibalise a said tent for its wool, rather than making the sheep get cold. So maybe that is what we should do. Uh, I might as well actually, actually have that as well, and the fish I can always, and the apples. I'm not worried about those. Yeah, let's have those. And we'll take, take your wool. Because it's more useful to me than it is to this random tent in the middle of nowhere. Uh, might as well take this 
these logs as well while I'm at it. And then because I've come all the way over here, I might as well run around and shear these sheep in the area. Just because, you know, I've got my shears. And there's a whole load of ships in the area. Sheeps. Ships. Which, of course, if you are a reader of, uh, of Terry Pratchett, you will realise that ships is what the Dak MacFeagles refer to sheep as. So, there you go. If you don't know what a Nack MacFeagle is, uh, and you don't read Pratchett, what are you waiting for? Go get his books. It's interesting because the 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 they really the Nack MacFeagles only really were in it the one a series that was more aimed at children, the uh, Tiffany Aching books, um, and but. Pratchett being Pratchett, he never ever really just wrote for children. When he wrote for children, there was always in his mind, well, in my opinion, there was always um, a an adult in the back of his mind. And he was analysing the jokes and the subject matter and everything constantly to go well yes this is going to be good for a you know mum and dad to read um but at the same time let's make it good for sorry this is good for little johnny to read but might as well make it good for mum and dad to read as well and his, his jokes were so double barreled that you often i think i think that's enough enough wall for one day uh, you often forgot that he was actually writing for an entirely different audience than you. As an adult, he was definitely writing for the children, but there's a lot of the, a lot of good stuff in there. But I personally think the humour would have gone way above a, a child's head anyway. So, yeah, there we go. Anyway, let's no, let's talking about this more making this so i need to get some vitium i'm get vitium by cooking vitium or or i just use the couple i've got uh we can use you we just need a little bit of you and then if we jump in here and go we like that oh i need the glass glass and glass and glass lovely now i should be able to go and make one of those and that will make me one of those. Which we will utilize uh, a slab to make you up to full size. And we shall place you down there. Oh, that's unpleasant. Oh, well, doesn't matter. So, your tier. I'm tier 1, complete 15 of 19 tasks to advance to the next tier. Okay, that's my tier. This is my affinity. This is my sorcery availability. So, this is the stuff I can do, I think, for things that are rituals, ritual of alteration, ritual of arcana, aurora, wandering wizard, earth and steps. You've got your mana weaving patterns, got mana crafting rune scribing um rune smithing constructs which really there aren't any constructs at tier one by the looks of it um and enchantments which you know so a lot of stuff going on there we've got that eye follows us around it's quite cool Right, so armed with that, what do I want to get into? So scribing spells. We need to set, proper, set up a proper workplace for me to get my spell ideas from my heads onto paper. Table with all the proper places to store everything. Paper that is designed to accept magical script and the proper ink. I'll need some arcane ash as well. Once I've got all that together, I need to get started. I'll need a way to pick, uh, pick a way to shape this spell. This will be the way target. So basically, need... An inscription table, um, which I may have. Rune scribing table. No, I don't. Uh, rune forge is not the 
thing we need. Uh, what is it I need? I'm trying to think. Uh, <clears throat> mana weaving, blah, blah, blah. Mana weaving altar. This is the beastie. So we need to make arcane sandstone and arcane stone. So if I go back to mana weaving, can I, have I got chimerite? Uh, maybe not right. If I go back to mana weaving, and it should tell me, nope, not in there. Cantrips. Where is the early game resources? That's it. Arcane stone. It's transmute cantrip on a stone block. Makes me that. Arcane sandstone. Transmute cantrip on that. So we're definitely going to need a better one than the one we've got. So let's have a think about this. Mm. that's crap that is apparently the next one I'm going to guess that that probably also has what I uh, think so if I've got any how do I make that arcane ash oh, God, went to arcane furnaces rune forge I'm sure I've got a rune forge. I have got a rune forge. So we'll, for the time being, we'll just pop the rune forge down there. And let me have a look at this. If I want arcane ash, I need arcane compound, which is vitium, bone ash. So we put bone in a rune forge. Okay. And I can manage a bit of bone in a rune forge. One bone gives four ash. Okay. Doesn't require any fuel. It just cooks based off of magic. Because, you know, magic. Uh, okay. There's uh, that stuff. What was I making? Oh, yeah. Um, arcane compound, which uses a flower, vitium, and bone. Any old flower, what have I got lots of? Well, got orms as well, so that should work. And then we're going to use you in an arcane to make arcane ash. So I just need one of those in there. You can see there's quite a lot of micro crafting of different bits in here to get the various minerals together, and it's going to take a, a hot minute to get some of this stuff sorted, but. That should give me, if I take Arcane Ash. Vitium and another flower. Take one of them. And we've got Vitium. That's what I needed. To give me... Purified Vitium. And I believe I have got a couple of... Get these the right way around. And... It's two sticks. Two sticks. A Purified Vitium Dust. And those. Gives me... A Chimerite Mana Reaver's Wand. Okay. We've got you. Um... What do I need to do next? Where was I going? I've completely forgotten. Oh, that was it. Stone. Smooth stone. We need to cook up eight of those. Again, I'm, I'm only doing eight because doing anything less than eight is a waste of the fuel. Sandstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know, let me just do 12 of those. And if I go... Right, let's try... Mm -hmm. 
it has an area of effect, I believe. So I'm not entirely sure what area of effect it, it has, but um, well, three isn't going to hack it because I need to make. Mm, six walls and you get six for three so i need another three plus things so let me do let me do a three by three grid if i can or i might need to go and harvest some more sand for that one two three four five uh, And that doesn't have a durability, so we'll just wear this out. So I think it will do a 3x3 three by, three by the looks of it. Just as a guess. And so we should be able to... I don't really need that much, I don't think. So I'll just go with a smaller quantity. Ah, no, I need, I need more mana. And it's run out. I'll be back in a second once my mana is uh, regenerated. Okay, so I believe I now have everything I need uh, if I just do that first and then go in there, get you, make one of those, bang, that gives me a mana weaving altar, which we shall put in here for now. And again, all of this, this it's one of the nice things with this... Ooh, I have no idea what that do, what that's doing, but it doesn't matter because it looks cool. Okay, right. Let us go and see. We've got early game resources. We've got silver. We've got flint. We've got bone ash. We've got. We've done all of that. That's all good. Useful vanilla recipes. Leather we can make with bone ash and things in a. Man, oh, shapeless crap. I think that's saying shapeless. Or is it's got to be? I think there's only six points on there. Name tag and poisonous potato. Lovely. Oh, and am I? Oh, no, no, it is actually a crafting thing. Right, but that's fine. Um, enemies and allies, blah blah blah. Lots of stuff. Mana weaving rituals. So we've got the rich, uh, initial setup tells you rituals are more in-depth magical castings that provide more powerful or long-term effects than uh, than an instant cast spell typically will. Uh, blah, 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 to draw the pattern. So there you've got chalk, which we make as thus. You've got purified vitium dust. You have your wands. You have your mana weave projector. This is nothing to do with actual casting, is it? The ritual begin power up and then begin drawing in reagent. Take care to ensure that. Da, da, da. Pattern. Yada yada. Ritual of alteration is used to add modifiers to spells. Ritual of arcana is used to craft spells. And this is basically where you have to set up all of your bits you need your spell and you need mystic focus mystic foci so if i want one of these i need a basic table vellum book animated quill and some carpet okay so no what was the 
inscription table requires a basic table two silver and some wood right that is doable straight off the bat and then we need a book and some carpet And night time as well, so I should probably sleep. Right, so book we can make, so that's not a problem. Carpet we can do. So let's have a look. What do I need to get an animated quill? Uh, I need animus dust, which requires egg, vitium, and wake bloom with a orbis rune. Right, let me just get that again because I've completely forgotten. Silver, feather, and animus dust oh an animus yeah okay yeah 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 and it was the animus dust egg vitium and wake bloom there's a wake bloom there's our vitium there's our egg so we have egg wake bloom vitius Hmm, I thought you, I was fairly certain. Well, we should be able to, no. <sighs> Patterns drawn when close enough will always go into his altar. Sneak, right, click. Ah! Sneak, right click, any other block to clear. There we go. There we go. That's how you do it. <laughs> we learned. Right. Um, so, we've got Animus. I'm going to use you with a feather and some silver. Feather, silver, Animus. There's my animated thing. There's my table. So what was the other one? Vellum. 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 How do you make vellum? Anybody? Uh, how do you actually make vellum? There we go, making vellum. <coughs> uh, I can make vellum by working leather in water. Any source of standing water will do, but I'm able to get better results if the water is in a cauldron. Right, uh, strangely enough, we seem to have had a sizable number of cauldrons about the place. Boop. Um... Boop. Probably should shut that. Grab. Oh, wow, I've only got one piece of leather. Okay. Two vellum. So there's my vellum. Alright. My, my inventory is getting messy. Right, I'm going to need to basically empty this of some stuff because I really can't see what the hell's going on here. Um... Right, we've got Vellum, we got you, uh, and we got you, so the only thing left I need is a book and some carpet. For which I'm going to need more leather. Mm, and... Some, well, I need paper. So we'll, we'll come over here and just park there. 
will shear a, a cow for some leather. That's how it works, isn't it? And me, I really do need to get all of this stuff going properly. But at the moment, I just want to get to the point where I can cast a spell. You know, it's a very simple requirement in life. There we go, sheared that cow. And, and then once I can cast a spell, we can... Uh, we can take this to the next level and I can also go and do a little bit of exploration. So I want to do, even if I don't get exploration done every single ep episode or lots of exploration, I do want to get, get out there and explore because there's, there's stuff in the world that needs to be looked at. But anyway, let's get this inscription table done. That is my next piece. So... Book. Carpet and carpet. Uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Carpet. Right, and armed with that, I should be able to make that. Which... Running out of places to put things. that there we'll whack a slab underneath it just for appearances sakes and this is so I think so we need to get now the various bits and pieces and what I would be looking for is a touch spell with break so it's going to need three ink two vellum and one vitium I presume is that vitium or hmm, not sure and then there's a whole bunch of required reagents there. Um, yeah, this is where things start getting fun. So, let's see. Let's have a look at magical ink for starters. So you've got your normal ink, you've got your antique ink from supplementaries, but what we want is this one, Arcanist's ink. For that I need purified vitium dust, glass bottles, flowers. Right. First things first, ink. Never a squid when you want one. definitely don't have any form of water breathing right now like I did in the last one so you know going off madly hunting for squid just by going underwater is not as much of an option as you might think although I do have two of those charm bases so more of an option than you also might think come on squiddy squid 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 here, squid. Right, well, I need to get the ink. I need to get all of those things together. And I also probably need to dig some sand so I can uh, make some bottles. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so I made the ink. It turns out you actually use a, a section of that. I, I can neither confirm nor deny that some cows and um, maybe the odd horse might have got injured in the making of this brown grief and grey. Well, we'll come to that one in a moment. Um, so we are making a spell. It is a touch dig spell. That's all it is. It's called touch break. Um, we are going to have a look at this. And we're going to need two vitium dust, brown glyphs, feathers, infused silk, tools, clay, a mystic focus, and some other glyphs. And 
consequently I am now sat here with a whole load of stuff that I need to somehow store uh, as well as that I don't uh, pick and axe I don't have quite enough but if I take those and combine those with let's just chuck chuck those in that should hopefully do the trick that will give me enough to get that so what do i need again i need to uh, we need to start off with rituals initial setup no ritual of the arcana so it is a nine by nine space that we need so first things first let's go and work out what have i got that i've got lots of i've got lots of this and i've got lots of you so let's go and work ourselves out a casting area over there and it needs to be nine by nine so <clears throat> yeah we need to build this ritual area up in such a way that we can uh, we can fit this in as best we can over here and then we can start looking at the chalk and how to get the thing to the thing with the thing. So if I come from here and go one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, that's nine by, that's a nine. So actually let's just, let's go in a bit. And I know this is a temporary area as well, so let, um, let's not forget that I'm not trying to build anything absolutely amazing here. It just has to do the job. And I think you, what you're actually looking at, if we were to look at these 9x9s glyphs, is it's basically a crafting grid made up of three by threes. So if I were to go and come over here and go one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four, and then do the same, and then do the same, that would be a top row of your crafting grid. And we can take, I'm gonna go with the purple with the And then the middle bits here we can put in as I may actually I'll come up with a design that I want to actually run with ultimately but one two three one two three so that will be our ritual grid Probably going to break this shovel before I finish, but that is fine. Because that will give us our... Love these musical blocks. Need a little bit more of that. So get a little bit more of that going. We'll dig this round a little bit more as well. Just so we've got, you know, a border and I realised now I'm Things. Anyway, let me get this done. Uh, the other thing we then need is chalk. Uh, and chalk we get... Uh, rituals, initial setup, chalk. Vitium, bone ash, flint and paper. A uh, little bit more paper and stuff. Okay, back in a sec. I don't know why whenever I start crafting things, it never really involves me having to go out and pick flowers somewhere. 
Uh, I don't know whether this game's trying to tell me anything. But, um, yeah, so we need to, to make... I've got the tools made. I've got most of the, the very common items made. I do need to make the sigils, and I need a grey sigil and a brown sigil. And I haven't actually found a jungle yet, so... The only way I can think of to make brown, well, there is a way to make brown, and you make it like that, and that will give me a brown sigil. Lovely. And then we can uh, dump this. Again, I know this is getting untidy. This is fine. So brown, brown. I need vitium dust times two. And I need infused silk and a mystic focus. Okay. A mystic focus is iron nuggets around glass. You are kidding me. Please have one. Oh, I've actually got... I've actually got enough iron nuggets to do that. And I should have glass as well. I do. Excellent. There's our mystic focus and then infused silk is a mist oh, we need another mystic focus string and wool I that is my literally my last piece of iron <laughs> um, Mystic focus. String and a wall. There's a string. I'm going to guess it doesn't matter what colour. So we should be okay with that. Let's just... And then we need to quadratum that one. So bind it. Grab our mystic silk. I think, is that everything now? Blah, 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 clay, I've got all of that, got all of that. So the only thing we need to do is get, I think it's purified vitium to start the process. Arcane compound becomes arcane ash, arcane ash becomes purified vitium. Have I not got that? Arcane Ash. Okay, okay, I can do another one. Let's have a quick sleep. Because, oops. Because that's there. Let's make ourselves another Arcane Ash, which is Arcane Compound. You are going to go over here and cook. And. Do, 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 do. Boop, boop. Uh, eventually, arcane ash. You combine with a vitium and a flower to make with a vitium and a flower. Purified Vitium, that is what we actually need to start the process off, and I can't do much more than carry that with me, so let's go. Over here, and I should have, let me check my spell versus what we've got. We're going two, then one, two, then one. Da, da, da. Uh, then you've got that plus you, then you've got that plus that, and we use you to start the process off. So, yeah, I think we 
I'm going to leave you in there because I will want you for further spells. Although, hopefully, before we get too far, I think so. We. Am I doing something wrong here? Mm -hmm. uh, rituals, initial setup, turn and start rolling the orientation, then activate the center of the ritual using purified vitium dust. This will cause the ritual to begin. Does that therefore need to be? That. Okay, come on. Tell me how this works. So the ritual of Arca Arcana is that. Open by right clicking, but how do you actually place displaying the need of reagents? Blah, blah, blah. Place the required reagents in the correct this will cause a ritual to begin. You need to draw the patterns or use a mana weave projector. Dynamic reagents. So. No, this is the ritual of the arcana. So let me just check. We have got there. There, this is why I said that maybe I shouldn't have done those as white. But to me, that... That is correct. The only thing missing... Is this here. Right, I am definitely confused because this should, best as I can tell, be working. No, I see what I did wrong. I see what I did wrong. Now I see that that is all correct. Maybe there is a chalk in the middle. I don't know. It's difficult to tell because there's that. There you go. And then you click it with that. And then, so we need Vitium there. And there. Our grey rune goes here. Our brown rune goes there. We've got an axe there. We've got a shovel there. We've got a pick there. Focus there. That's your silk, that's your clay, that's your thingy, What's going on here? Set up, blah, blah, blah. Click. This will cause the ritual to begin. Display, mandatory, place required reagents, and activate the center of the ritual using purified vitium dust. Let's uh, screenshot this. 
Now he wants us to draw things. So, triangle. Square. Square. That is considerably more complicated. Things right. You, you are going to be called Dig. I don't think there's just there are more icons or anything, um, but that doesn't matter. We definitely can just work with the similar kind of stuff we had before, which was kind of a rock breaky thing, like say that in purple. There we go. And you can see my affinities going up. Oh, 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 oh I've got a spell. Right. Um, let me see how long I've been recording, because this feels like it was considerably more than it should have been. And, uh, yeah, I will be back with you in a moment. All right, yeah, we've definitely been going too long, uh, but we have cast a spell. We've done the uh, transmutation cantrip. We've crafted a mana weaving altar. Uh, we haven't done a construct. We have crafted an instruction. We've done a mana weaving. We haven't reached magic level 15, and we haven't done any of these these yet. Uh, construct we either know craft station or load star using a bell of bit. No, don't even know what that means. Um, and our affinity is 0.8 for that. Uh, yeah, we are chunking along. So next episode I propose to do a little bit more exploration. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. I, what I really need to find is a place I want to live. And that is going to be, you know, things. I may even start and head out, you know, just to get out there a little bit and then see where we go from there. Because we really haven't covered much of the world here at all. This is all very, very simplistic. So, yeah, till then, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.